Now going over to question eight, we always start right here with the prompt whenever there is one. How would the author of text two most likely respond to the claim in the underlying sentence of text one? So generally we're gonna to wanna to find out, well, what is that claim? Because then we can consider what the response was to the claim. So let's find out the claim in text one and start reading text one. Efforts to automate classification of paintings into different artistic styles have had little success. And we, we have probably reached the technological limit of this work. Furthermore, it's not obvious that this is even a useful endeavor. As several critics have argued, differences between artistic styles are inherently subjective and often not the best way to understand relationships between works. So here, the first part is saying there was an effort to automate the classification of paintings. So maybe to use AI or computers or something along those lines to classify paintings into different artistic styles. Uh, this is saying it's reached its limit. Um, we're not really at a point where it's going to get any better. And it said, as a support to that, it said, it's not even obvious that it's useful to even classify them um, because several have several critics have argued that the differences are subjective. And um, looking at the differences between the styles are not even the best way to understand the relationships between the works. So there are questions about whether or not categorizing them into styles to begin with is a good thing. So teaching, let's say, an AI to do that is an even worse thing. And that's kind of the point of text one. So that second idea is what the underlying portion, which is over here, was saying. Now, what would text two say in response to that? So text two says, Baroque painting utilized a very similar color palette as Renaissance painting did to depict largely the same subjects as Renaissance painting. Automated artistic style classifiers often struggle to draw distinctions between these two styles, but these guys were able to achieve a high degree of accuracy in comparisons by running one classification model atop another, an approach that demonstrates how much innovation is possible in this realm. So one important difference is that while text one says it's not really a good idea to automate the classification of work into different categories of artistic works, text two says that it's actually very possible and there are certain sort of approaches that are really going to make it work well. The approach that they mentioned is the idea of sort of layering uh, one method on top of another. Um, which is what it says right here. They're running one model on top of the other, and that demonstrates how much innovation is possible. So text one, the underlying portion says, classifying art using AI is has already reached its limit. It's very pessimistic about it. Text two says the exact opposite. It says there's a lot of possible innovation in this same area. So let's look at the answers. A, by emphasizing that there are still advances being made in the automated artistic in automated artistic style classification. That sounds great because it emphasizes the advances and the potential. B, by criticizing previous research into automated style classification, it didn't really criticize any research, so we can easily get rid of that. C, by arguing that most people are not able to correctly identify the style of paintings. That's definitely not what text two said. Text two was talking about the ease of classifying uh, in an automated way. So nothing about how people can't do it. And D, by suggesting that people may eventually develop more uniform and accepted ideas about artistic styles and their boundaries. That sounds a little more like passage one that said, not only can we not use something like AI to classify them, but classifying them in general may be a bad idea. So that kind of is more in line with text one that you know maybe someday people will develop these, these ways to describe the styles. Uh, but in other words, right now, we don't have that. So not anywhere close to what text two said. And the only one that worked here was answer choice A.